Okay, just like all the other problems we've done in chapter 8, everything that was given to us in the book I've highlighted in orange, as in orange, you're glad it was given to you, and anything that you had to compute was in green. Well, we're told for the first quarter we're going to have $5,000 of direct labor hours, and that is our overhead driver. We believe that our variable overhead rate, based on last year's assumptions, that's where that number came from, given to us in the text, $1.75. So our variable manufacturing overhead for the first quarter is $8,750. I want to point out something to you while, we're, while I'm thinking of it. This is ours. We just have to charge you people more tuition so I can get better magic markers. This is ours. Everything else from here down is all dollars. So keep that in mind as we're going through. So they give us the fixed manufacturing overhead of $35,000. Our total manufacturing overhead for the first quarter is $43,750. Now they tell us that $15,000 of that is depreciation, so we don't need to make any cash allowance for depreciation, so we subtract that. So this minus this is that. We subtract out the cash depreciation. We don't need to make any cash allowance for it. So that's our first quarter. We'll do the same thing for the second quarter. We're given 4,800 hours. Our rate is still $1.75. So our manufacturing overhead is 48 times 175, $8,400. Our fixed manufacturing overhead is $35,000, and it stays that. So our total overhead is those two items added together, $43,400. We subtract the $15,000 because we don't need to make cash allowance for depreciation. I say cash allowance, I mean prepare for it. We don't have to spend that cash. So our Disbursements for manufacturing overhead for the second quarter are $28,400. We'll do the same thing for the third quarter. We're given 5,200 hours. Our rate is $1.75 for our variable overhead. That's $9,100 plus our $3,500. That's $44,100 minus our 1500 15000 excuse me, dollars for depreciation gives us cash disbursements. The cash we need for the third quarter is $29,100. And we have the same for the fourth quarter. So you have to remember to multiply these, add these to get that, subtract that to get that. Multiply, add, subtotal, subtract, how much we need to have cash on hand for. Now, we need to total this for the year because we're going to need to know the total budgeted direct labor hours for the second part of the problem, okay? So, once we've done that, we need to come up with the total budgeted manufacturing overhead for the year. That's this multiplication plus the fixed minus the total depreciation for the year, okay? That gives us the total cash disbursement, but this says total manufacturing overhead, so we need this subtotal. 
That's the subtotal we need. And then it says, what should our total overhead rate be? Okay. So we have to take our total budgeted direct hours. You pick a different color. So that gives us the total overhead, fixed and variable, and the total hours. And when we divide that, we come up with, ta-da, our predetermined overhead rate for the year. So, none of this is difficult. The, the hard part about this is interpreting where the datum, where each datum should go, where the data all together goes, what it tells you, and how to interpret it. Okay, so if you look at my multicolored spaghetti and look at the text, you should have no trouble putting this together for yourself.